Me, my, my, moo. Ha! Ah! Fuck! Me, my, my, moo. Maybe I've made the wrong choices in life. Maybe I should have been Hollow Gator. Chomp, chomp. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Goose Pond. My name is Hollow Goose, and today we are playing more Little Gator Game. We're currently at the splash pad. We're with the cool kids. Look how cool he looks, just standing there. So cool. He looks cool. Very cool. Very cool, all of you. Junk for trash. There's monsters down here. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh boy, litter. I can't believe people just throw this stuff everywhere. I know, we can rinse this off and recycle it for the game. I'm gonna clean up the environment after I wash my hands, yuck. What? Yeah, you should clean up the environment. I guess that's what I'm doing now. Environment, you are now getting cleaned. Cease to exist, slime family. I have dispersed you. Nice. You look like a kid who gets their hands dirty, am I right? Uh, I see you scurrying around, grabbing those things off the ground. I know what I see in you, potential. I happen to be a connoisseur of fine junk, such as these specimens you see before you. You wouldn't happen to uh, want them, would you? Uh, probably. Yeah, I knew it in the moment I laid eyes on you. You're a trash fiend like me. I haven't seen a pickup game like yours since I was in diapers and my dear mother was changing them. You mean the cans? Thanks, I've been cleaning up the environment. Oh, oh, oh. Heart of gold on this one, eh? Well, whatever gets trash in cans. You have my heartfelt respect, and the doors are open to you. Thanks, so can I have one of these? You may have under misunderstood my compadre. My shop is open, but you still have to make a living. Oh, I still gotta buy it. Praise so. But I'll sweeten the deal with some exclusive insider information, no extra charge. Free? Yes, let's hear it. If you're aching for trash, take a dive in a trash can. What? You read around in the trash cans? That's disgusting. You're a one-stop shop for the strong of constitution, provided people have the decency to use them. <laughs> if you're squeamish, just knock them over. Boom. Now it's litter, your specialty. But I don't know. Suit yourself, not my business, where you get trash as long as you can pay. And when you are ready to pay, my wares are ready to browse. Alright. Bam. That's mine now. So, what'll it be? Trash picking stick? Ancient gong? A disassembler. Disassemblizer. Ooh, that sounds... Be proud of your purchase, that's a bona fide disassemblizer. Mint condition. Get that mint condition, as it never used? You tell that to anyone who asked about it. <gasps> Whoa. So what would it be? Rain shoe applicator? Whoa. I want that. Paint blaster. I made this one myself. It's a junk squirt gun loaded with chem- I mean non-toxic paints. Ever wanted to paint an approximately mural from 30 yards away? Impromptu mural. Alright, yeah, I want to do that. More slimes? You shall never withstand the more might of, of Goose McFeathers. Isn't there a beetle around this way somewhere? Well, I'm, uh, aren't I trying to find some stupid beetle? Can't help it, I guess, I don't know. Hmm. Excuse me. Hang on, Jim. Hey, Spry, I really can't talk right now. Adults on the phone are very busy. Turn around, but I want you to know that there's a tea party waiting for you. You mean my daughter's little party? No, she's just started setting up. And I've only been on the phone for, oh boy, that's long. Oh, I really, at the time, get away from me. Hey, Jones, I'm at the park with my daughter. Let's pick this up another time. Yep, uh-huh. All right, bye. Thanks for the update, Tyke. I owe you one. Aw, that's so sweet. So you bothered my mom even though I warned you not to. Uh, thanks. I get scared to talk to her sometimes, even though I know that, um, uh, never mind. I guess we have time to play now, so see you at the playground. Nice! I got a fairy wand. Hey, Martin. It's a cool crew to think of a place. Good, seems like everyone found something they can vibe with. Where's a cool girl formerly recognized the playground village as a sick place to be. Are you ready to make it even sicker? 
Yeah, I got an idea too. Take a look. <clears throat> Green light it. <laughs> I got 10 friends to spare. Hmm. What do you think? You know what? I'm thinking it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely is a place I would engage in some wicked commerce. You can mark it off as finished. Nice. Ninja. Wow, you guys got here quick. There's still no way I'm getting to the top of that, but... I'm gonna need, like, an additional two at least. Top of the mountain, that feels like a really high place to go. Let's go up the mountain. Screw that beetle. Mountain, the tree... Oh, so it's only three places anyway. This must be, um... Oh. And there were a bunch of slimes, but my favorite ones were squat flat like this. Sounds like fun. Who all else is playing? Only everyone on the island. It's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, it's Goose Mint Feathers. I was just telling all my friends about your game. Oh, are you still playing? I thought you maybe gave up on me helping you, helping me, helping me express to my sis that it's impressive for us to be helping each other to be playing a game of helping. Yeah, she seems busy, but you shouldn't stop us from having our own fun. Oh, you're gonna love this. Remember when you said you wanted more drama? Well, these guys are theater veterans, certified acting professionals. We came up with a bunch of great ideas. And drama, what is your idea again? Okay, so I'm hearing Monsters, Discovery, and Epic Adventure. So I think for Act 2, we go for the most epic place imaginable. The final frontier, the world beyond the stars, space opera for the ages. Um, I don't know about. You always want to do space. I thought we were doing Cal book idea this time. Dingy saloons, duels at high noon, that's pretty epic. Compared to an adventure in the spans of the galaxy, hardly. I'll play cowpokes, Velma, but only if your cattle can handle a vampire attack. A what attack? Estimate please. The Wild West appeal, it's gritty realism. You can't be a vampire. Fine, I want to do space too. A vampire would never survive in space. There's nowhere to hide from the sun. Ugh. <laughs> Are they an actual bat? I bet there's a way we can make everyone's idea work. What do you think, Goose McFeathers? Uh, well, we're already doing a heroic fantasy thing, so everyone should just do that instead. No one gets left out because there's no space opera or western or vampire drama to begin with. You too? What kind of fantasy game doesn't have vampires? None of you have any culture. I've got a whole solar system of culture, and I won't play without them. Hang on, guys. If we just talk this one out a little more, I know we can make everyone happy. Sorry, Avery. This is starting to sound like a lot of rules, and cowgirls don't play by the rules. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna herd some cattle, and it's gonna be epic. You are the cattle. Hold on. Wait a minute! Everything is so wrong with your friend group, Avery! This is- this was the friend I was dreading to go help. Oh great, now I have to go recruit a new engineer. Anyone who doesn't turn to dust in the sun will help- is welcome to join me. Rude! We can at least work vampires in, right, Goose and Feathers? I mean, maybe we could. So it's fine, Avery. I need to go brood in the shade anyway. Hasta luego, darlings. Here's hoping immortals come to your senses about the greatest of all monsters. Jeez, that was a lot more drama than I was ready for. Well, you win some, you lose some, right, buddy? Uh, nah, don't worry. This kind of thing happens all the time. It does? That sounds exhausting. It is! But it also means I know exactly what to do. Those guys are so creative, they just all need a place they can be creative together. Hmm. I'm conjuring an idea with my magical fantasy powers. You sure we can't just cut our losses and head to the playground? In the middle of a friendship emergency? Sorry, guess my feather, no can do. Just think of the scope they all bring to the fantasy. Plenty of heroes get attacked by aliens or negotiate negotiate with the undead, or perform laborious farming and landscape chores for fun. Well, uh, I guess if it'll get you to come with me, we can try some of that stuff. Yay! Okay, okay, I have the perfect idea, but I need some time to put it together. Can you try to convince everyone to come back here and check it out? You're great on that. Sure, I'll do my best. Strict tack at Avery, I swear, if I come back and there's a restaurant. Oh my gosh, Avery. No! <laughs> Okay, so there's gotta be something to climb in this. It's gotta be. The rock monsters, you will not stop me. I found you, monkey man. You lay <laughs> atop this peak. Your soul will taste what truly craves. Bracelets, where you least expect it is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 500. Yeah, I have 500. <gasps> Oh, wonderful, another beauty joins your collection. Yay. 
Ha ha, another bracelet. I feel the power surging through me. Hero, do you see what has happened? I bought a bunch of bracelets. Not just a bunch, all, you have purchased all. Each and every bracelet in the entire world is now yours. To commemorate this momentous achievement, I have an extra present for you. The present of knowledge. My beautiful, marvelous bracelets do nothing. What? But I worked so hard to get those. No refunds. Now go forth with the knowledge that the power was inside you all along. Goodbye. Is it true? Did these really not do anything? If that's true, then nothing stopped me from climbing as much as I want. I have infinite stamina. Okay, yes, yes. Avery, where are your friends? Oh my gosh. This is a vampire, yes, okay. Ah, mortal bumble, listen to my dark domain. I, my, my, um, my pink gun's in, in your face. I can't really see, that's all right, don't worry about it. Did you not heed the posted warnings? You will now pay dearly. I'm a hero of legend, no evil monster can defeat me. Defeat you, ah. After your awful take on vampires, you're not worth the effort. No, your punishment will be the icy sting of my cold shoulder. Oh, that's it? Uh, okay, ouch. I guess that shoulder sure was cold. Wait, I forgot. I do have something important to tell you. Time out for a second. <laughs> no, really, it's a message from Avery. They want you to come see something cool and vampire at the amphitheater. Come on, you aren't cold shouldering Avery too, are you? <laughs> okay, okay, if you come back, I'll be a vampire too. We can do vampire stuff. Ha! As if I would grant you the honor, you aren't worthy of the vampiric mantle. I can't be worthy. How do I be worthy? A fine question. What could you possibly offer me? An immortal being of the night who thirsts for only evil and desires only darkness. It would take an offering of nothing less than <gasps> ice cream. Ice cream? The ice cream cart is here. Forget everything I said. If you bring me a cold of your favorite sorbet, I will consider it a fitting apology. Really? I just bring you ice cream right over here? So tantalizing. Close, isn't it? But alas, it is gotten by the sun, my immortal enemy. I have pleaded with the vendor in the past to join me in the shade, but to no avail. Like, come on. It's one measly river to cross. You can't be that heavy mortal sometimes. So yeah, this cave has its amenities, many amenities, but ice cream is not one of them. Bring me some and we shall discuss your request for minerality. Oh joy, a customer. And your friends with the little girl in the cave, it's my lucky day. That's right, I like one ice cream. Sure, sure, it's three bucks. Only three? That's a great deal. Here you are, my good vendor. What's this? It's loot from quests. This is a torn up takeout bag. I can see the grease on the scrap. I need real paper. I don't understand. You know, cash? Dollars. It's three dollars. Okay, I hear what you're saying. I'll give you 300 of my loot for a cone. So, the entire greasy takeout bag? No, I don't think my boss would appreciate that. Listen, if you don't have real money, I gotta get going. Uh, hold on for a second. Why me? It's a problem. Mason Versus isn't playing. They want three real dollars. Oh, uh, you see what I mean about that one? So needy. Do you have any adult money? I only have about 50 cents. Wait, no, 55. I have 40, so that's almost a dollar between us. Yeah, I might know who has some. <laughs> Hi Jill, hey Skills. Hey Jill, uh, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jill, you usually have some money on you, right? Why, yes, Rogue Traveler. I have plenty of materials and would be happy to trade. No, sorry, like actual dollars. I want a quest to buy ice cream. Oh, I guess I, have, I usually have $10 in case of emergencies. That's more than enough. Unfortunately, most of that is circulated through Gene's gig economy at the moment. Oh, what? I still have $2 I can lend you. Thank you, but we're still five cents short. It's okay, I've got one more person I can ask. Hey, sis. Hey, hi, big sis. Hello, Jill. Hi, Goose McFeather, this is Big Sis. Hello, number I don't recognize. Goose McFeather, what is going on? Would it be possible to borrow some money? I want to buy an ice cream for my friend. We just need five more cents. You want me to wire you a nickel? Yes, please. Oh, are you still there? Sorry, I had to catch my breath. I just sent you six dollars. Get yourself one, too. <gasps> wow, thank you! Oh, yay! Big Sis does love 
me. Oh, but I don't actually get an ice cream in real life. Just the character in the game. You're welcome. Don't eat it too fast. Will do. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you later. I do have other stops to make, you know. I'm glad you're here because I have like two ice creams. I have six dollars right here on my phone. It's not cash. Oh, if you wait another minute, I can go run it. No, it's fine. I'm sure I have an app or something. Here, send it to this account. Done. Great. What flavor do you want? Sorbet, please. What kind of sorbet? There's more than one? Yes, sorbet is just different kinds of goop on ice. Um, this is for the cave girl, right? She always gets the same thing. I'll make it two of those, okay? Phew, thanks. Two of those. Uh, for a second, I thought this quest was gonna get even more bloated. What is that? Never mind. Ew. Scooby, this one always makes me gag. Here, I'm leaving now. Enjoy. To get the- it's red. This isn't the flavor I think it is, is it? I sure hope she isn't committing to the bite that hard. Oh no. It's like cherry. Here's your ice cream, oh more immortal one. Yes! I am indeed I accept this treat in the great lengths you went to acquire it. Your past digestions are pardoned, and I shall grant the request. Pardon thyself. Here, put these on. Ah, cool. Thanks. Wow. Wow, look at me, I am a vampire too. Come, sibling of the night. Let us feast on the icy cream of your labor. Oh, right. You barely touched your ice cream, my people. Does something trouble you? Uh, no, it's- What flavor did you say this was again? Only the darkest flavor for the darkest of thirstiest of monsters. Black cherry? Black cherry! Yay! I love black cherry! Again, I don't have any black cherry, but you know. Oh, yum! I'm done. Ready to go meet everyone in the amphitheater? You foolish youth and feathers. I never agreed until I returned with you. What? The ice cream. You accepted the mantle unwillingly, and now you're both bound to the darkness. Don't you want to see whatever it is they're planning? Yeah, kind of. But that is the vampire's curse. The desire for which it's just out of reach. Alas. All we can do is wait for another mortal to wander by to do our bidding. Oh, right. Um... It's not so bad in here. You keep it tidy. And we can get you fitted for a nice coffin. I'm gonna leave the cave. No, don't leave the cave! Violent powers can't go in the sunlight! But I really want to. As do I! Yes, we mustn't, for it would break continuity. Oh, well, if there's a good lore reason we could leave, I suppose so. In that case, I have a solution that makes sense. I have some sunscreen from home. I'm invisible. Sure, let me get some of that too. Cool, you've opened my eyes. I only hope everyone else can accept my ways as you have. Yes, vampire stuff is kind of fun and tasty. As a token of my gratitude, I will not use my unbound power to lay waste to this world. I appreciate it. I'll be back up the mountain, definitely facing the brightest ray of sunlight I can find. Farewell. Where's the rest of y'all, friends? And why am I here? Someone is hanging on to that balloon. Ah! Oof. Are you alright? Fine, I'm fine. Sorry about that. I was just decorating when a gust of wind started blowing all my balloons away. I tried to grab them all, but pretty soon I was blown away too. Sorry, could you do me another favor? I can barely get these off my hands. I can't even look at them right now. I got a bag of balloons. I'm just gonna fly now. I don't see any more friends. I don't see a cow wrangler. What the heck? I don't know. Dennis, you stay away from that cactus. You'll hurt yourself. But cattle don't pick their nose. Oh, it's you. Sorry, you kind of caught me in the middle of something. Is this how playing cow hooks usually goes? Yeah, I mean, no, well, sigh. We were crossing a beautiful, peaceful prairie, but Sanders shouted snake, and they all went berserk. Normally, I'd just let them tie themselves out, but they're real wound up this time. Sounds like you could use a hand, a hand there, partner. Really? You want to round them up? You betcha. I'll uh, lasso up those cattle real quick, but, you know, in a nice way. Normally, I wouldn't be asking help from a stranger, but I guess you're a friend of Avery's. All right, Goose with Feathers. Have a go at it. If you manage to round up these ragamuffins, I'd be mighty grateful. Smack! Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. I want two cones, two cones, a hundred cones. Whoa, that's something shiny. Whoa, was this something shiny over by your sister? Shiny? I want shiny. What is it? What is it? What is it? Exercise is very important. I gotta get more exercise. Hey, last time to race back to your sister loses. Race it. One, two, three, go. <gasps> Guys, go, 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 go. 
Ah, uh, there was a bug around here. I can't see it, but I keep hearing it. Ah, uh, rawr. I'm an evil prairie goblin, and I'm gonna get you. Ah, uh, help, 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 help. Yeah, that seems about right. Well, I'll be. You got them all. And in good time, too. I'll eat one goose, my feathers. That's good to hear, because, sissy, I want ice cream. Xander, shush. I'm in character right now. What did I promise about ice cream? All right, oops. Uh, moo. Yeah, moo. Thanks for catching us, moo. Sure. <laughs> so, anyways, Avery is. I still haven't found a bug. Did you check your nose? That's where mine was. What? Ah! Excuse me, all of you. Goose, my feathers is talking right now. Be respectful. Uh, your cattle sure are a handful, huh? Yeah, but I love them. Just can't help it. Uh, okay, so the thing is, I hate you. Avery's got some crazy scheme to get the game back together at the amphitheater. I don't buy it, but I owe you one, so I'll be up there as soon as I can corral this lot. Phew, yes, awesome. See you there. Awesome. <laughs> you. Ah, it's you again, green one, so you finally realize the superiority of sci-fi setting. Sure, yeah, space is totally better than high fantasy. I've decided. More importantly, Avery wants to show you something really cool. Science thing back at the amphitheater. Intriguing, but you couldn't have come at the worst time. We're deep in enemy territory, surrounded by space monsters. Oh, that's fine, I fight all sorts of monsters. Space ones should be no problem. Ah, so sure of yourself, and you don't even have a blaster. Come to think of it, you don't even have a protective suit either. How do you survive the vacuum of space? Uh, magic. My cool fantasy spells protect me from vacuums or whatever. Magic? Technology to surpass the Space Federation? Sounds too good to be true. I smell a face mon space monster lie. Could it be that you're native to this strange planet? What that could only mean? Ah, you led them right to me. What a cunning ruse. Whoa, no, I'm not with them. Even if they do kind of look like me, that's weird. If you are true to your word, then you'll help me dispatch these monsters. I will lay down covering fire from here. Impressive, Green One. My apologies for doubting your ludicrous notions of space magic. It's okay after all. Magic is just like science we don't understand, right? We can discuss such preposterous notions later, wizard. There is still danger afoot. Quickly, take this. Get things. Space Blaster. Ooh, yes. Man, not a truer thing was said. It's only a matter of time. You got another way of quickly laser. Blast them all. Infinite ammo. Battle's nearly one wizard, but whoa, we have to wake a most fearsome foe. The mothership. The heck, where did that even come from? There's no time. We must dispatch her before she summons the entire army. I got it. I must say, I never expected to defeat an alien horde side by side with a magician. Me neither. Maybe an alien invasion in a fantasy land would be fun after all. I suppose I could find my creativity to just one planet for the sake of my peers. In the meantime, I'll return home base to concert with Avery and the Discovery. Till we meet again, may you outpace the light that guides you, wizard, and may all your wildest dreams come true, spaceman. Wow. Heck yes, space vampire wizard. Where is the amphitheater? Up here? Ah, I see. I don't care what works in your canon, there's no such thing as SPF 50 million, 50,000. It makes perfect sense. Even if Science Boy decides it works, it sure as heck don't fly on a farm. You should worry about what does fly on a farm. They're a prime abduction target. You threatening to abduct my kin? Uh, not me, the aliens. You both haven't changed a bit. Uh, Avery, now might be a good idea to tell everyone your idea. Really? You think so? Alright. Alright, everyone, here's my biggest idea yet. What if we took all the slimes and put hats on them? Avery, the other idea. Oh, huh? The one that's supposed to make everyone work together? Alright, oh, that idea. The idea that makes spacefarers, cow folks, and vampires all come together as one. Oh, this ought to be good. I think that we should all get to be together and open a restaurant. 
A space restaurant? No, Andromeda, not a space restaurant. Avery, I'm confused. What does the restaurant have to do with vampires? Our frontier living. With the vast expanse of the past of meager the sky. Yes, sir, all of these questions are very simple. I forgot. What? Avery? Sorry, everyone. I couldn't stop thinking about slimes and hats. Can you imagine one of the violent ones with the witch's cap? Or the blue one with the little top hats? So cute. Maybe if I could get another minute to think. I don't want to start business with people who don't appreciate me. At least we can agree on that. Thanks for trying, Avery. But I ought to get those rascals the treats I promised. Is this meeting adjourned? I have a field of asteroids I need navigating. Mm, there's an idea. Maybe I'll find a nice sunny asteroid field too. You can't, and you know it. Wait, um, don't go. I'm sure I'll remember. Maybe next time, Avery. Come on, Rents. So let's ride. No, 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 no. I can't let them leave again. Um, um, hey, what about food? Huh? What about it? Restaurants need food. Farmers have food, right, Velma? That we do. And we need waiters to carry around the food. Tiny, energetic waiters. Okay, I see where you're heading. And it's in space, right? Well, no, it's probably not in space. We have to cook the food on something. Maybe some advanced technology. Of course, warp technology on Earth and planet. We'll be a match in popularity and half of the restaurant is ambiance you'll need an interior decorator and charismatic hostess definitely and after everything i think all of that stuff fits in a fantasy world after all what do you say velma shall we combine forces to show some mythical patrons truly out of this world cuisine don't forget a truly villainous atmosphere well i do have to get these kids their ice cream but i can handle two more goofballs when i get back i'm in Hooray, I'll start making the menu. I'll start for napkins. I will draw up some blueprints. Great, let's split up and get started. I knew it all get along eventually. Thanks for bringing everyone together, Goose McFeather. I'm sure. I'm glad you asked me to. Everyone's ideas turned out to be a lot of fun. Did I tell you they were creative? So about the playground. We'll definitely be there. I've got so many great ideas, I can hardly stand it. I hope you're ready for all the drama you can handle. Go, cool. I hope so too. Quest complete! Now I gotta find that damn bug. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you in another swim in the pond. Bye bye